Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video we're going to do a little recap of Season 16. We're going to go over the scoreboard and we're going to kind of uh, breeze through the patch notes and just highlight some of the important things that were added with the Season 16 America's Playground update. Number one, off the bat, if you guys did not see my video of the uh, weekly update, they have added more camp slots. Massive win for the Fallout 76 community, and of course if you want to see my live reaction to that, or I lose my mind go check out that video but first we are going to take a look at the scoreboard so let's do just that and yeah or i guess seasons now so let's see how this works S welcome to seasons rank up earn tickets and claim season rewards long story short folks if you play fortnite it's pretty much just the same as that as opposed to stars you're in tickets and then you can kind of choose what you want personally i liked it better where i could just you know go through the whole thing and not have to like consciously think about what rewards I want, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure it's the same amount of effort that you're putting in, and maybe it isn't the worst thing, maybe for someone who isn't going to finish it, or who can't always be playing, to play every once in a while and save up for that one item, and then get it. That is kind of the redeeming thing of this, I feel like. Once again, those who cannot play all the time, if there is something they want, they can just save up enough currency to buy that one thing. I think that is pretty good. So yeah, Complete challenges to earn score and rank up. Earn tickets every time you rank up. Redeem tickets to claim rewards from the season's menu. All right, so let's see. Uh, I literally, literally, this whole scoreboard is meaningless to me, aside from this outfit. I'm sure you guys can understand why. Uh, but yeah, so this is the first page here. Uh, you guys, I, I'm not going to go through everything. You guys can pause it and you know look at it if you want to. Yeah, I'm sure that people have made videos about this. I mean, I made a video going over everything. Uh, but let's see. So yeah, I'm just going to breeze through here. That power armor. Yeah, who cares? Some fences, though. Those are nice. Uh, I love these tiki statues. Cannot wait for that. And this outfit is really cool. It's kind of like the Hawaiian one, but instead it has uh, shorts. It's pretty nice. Uh, of course, the Cremator, a little throwback to the old uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas style flamers. Moving on from there, there's a new ally, which is pretty cool. Don't really care about it, though. Uh, I You can now become forklift certified in Fallout. That is pretty sweet. What else we got? Eh, I don't really care about none of that. Oh, water boiler. Very good, uh, what do you call it, item to kind of have outside your camp as a place filler, and also it produces water for you. So there you go. Um, don't care about that stuff. Oh, the autopsy table is really cool. I cannot wait for that. Not sure why they have a Brahmin corpse, though. Interesting. Moving on. Wait, what was that? Mystery. Oh, mystery magazine package. Interesting. Uh grass roof. That's kind of interesting actually. If you're trying to make a more like lived in, very apocalyptic home that grass roof kit is pretty sweet. Moving on from there. Oh, I skipped one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Homemade xylophone. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I wonder if it's like big enough to, uh, you know, like I wonder if it's a decent enough size. Uh, the Cryptid Hunter paint, I really don't care about it. The only thing I care about is that jetpack. That jetpack is sweet. Moving on from there, Pine Barrens. It's literally just a reskin of an old, uh, Atomic Shop bundle, so I don't care. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, folks. I really only care about that outfit. Once again, you can pause the video and take a look, or you can go check out some other creator's video going over this stuff. I'm not going to waste my time with it. I've already been over it. So there's that. That's the scoreboard. Let's take a look at this. So current expedition Atlantic City. And then, okay, so flooded city center. The human condition. Defend from... Uh, Mother Nature's Wrath. Okay, so this is one of the new ones. Flooded City Center, or excuse me, the Human Condition is the name of the expedition. And then, uh, what is this? Tax Evasion. These are the ones from the last update. Over here at the Boardwalk, Most Sensational Game. Okay, so I may, I, is there only one new expedition? I thought there were two. Okay, well, regardless, there is a new expedition, the Human Condition. And it seems like this part of the... Uh, of uh, How can I say this? Here, let me, here, let me just kind of show it to you guys. We'll go back to the main menu here, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. In the news area, they added a picture. Yeah, right here. If you look behind the power armor guy with the, the Gauss rifle, you can see there that uh, Atlantic City is kind of out in the distance, and you're here in the woods. I believe that this is the Pine Barrens, kind of out here in the woods, and it seems like there's... 
I don't know if those like floating spore guys were in before or not. I really wasn't in New, uh, New Jersey that much, but there you go. It seems like the new expedition is going to be more oriented towards the outskirts of the city. However, I'm not going to know until I play it uh, tomorrow. I will be playing it tomorrow and figuring all that out. I got a lot going on today, but there you go. So yeah. Finally here, I'm going to give you guys something, I guess, interesting to look at. We are going to go over the patch notes really fast and just kind of see what changes they've added. So let's see. Uh, new quest line. Unravel a deadly plot hiding in the closet of the glamorous Russo family in the new multi-mission quest line. So it seems that there are some new quests as well. Very interesting. I'm curious how you can find those. Are you going to be... Okay, okay. Explore the boardwalk. This update expands our take on post-nuclear New Jersey. And I'm going to give you guys like uh, that there. Nice little screensaver. Okay. So it seems like there is a new quest line within Atlantic City. So you're going to go there and figure that out. Um, I'm assuming, though, that once you're there, it's going to be a little bit more open world because there is this kind of new quest line. Changes to seasons. We went over that. What else we got? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, family comes first. So go to go to Atlantic City today. Do the expedition. Go play that side quest. And, I mean, come back here and let me know because I'm not going to be able to play it until tomorrow. Yeah, explore the boardwalk. Here we go. America's Playground also expands upon Fallout's take of post-nuclear New Jersey, allowing players to further explore the city at their own leisure and even take on new side quests, meet with local merchants and, sh uh, and shop, or even play part in passing on the torch within the inner circle of the family. So there you go. That's cool. Having an expedition where you can kind of roam around and have your own, uh, what do you call it, own little fun time doing side quests and stuff. That is cool. Very excited for that. Bug fixes and improvements. Um... Uh, yeah, nothing really too major. Gameplay. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but when you're playing sometimes, uh, like in Foshnot or any major events, sometimes dropped loot or bodies will show up as chain. Apparently, you're not going to be able to see that anymore. Very nice. Um, hmm. Localization. I don't care. Better tomorrow. Quest update to done all the quests, so I don't care about that. Uh, headlamps. West Virginia slot. Atlantic City vendors will no longer open. I, like, what did they do? Players can now eat uh, eat corpse or receive and receive two times the benefits. So there's that. Just seems like a lot of bug fixes. Players now receive a reward for matching three thumb symbols in the slot machine. Who cares about that? Just said, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, unless I overlook something, it doesn't seem like the patch notes, like, added a whole lot. There's no, like, massive quality of life changes. Just some bug fixes and stuff like that. Um, I know that DTD has a video going over the entire patch notes. He read through the entire thing. If you guys wanted a more in-depth look on that, be sure to go check it out. But, yeah, this is uh, just kind of my video. <laughs> Honestly, just kind of figuring out the whole update for myself. And I figured I'd have you guys along for the ride. So, quick little recap here. Uh, new season, new way of doing seasons, very similar to the Fortnite Battle Pass. God, I want to sing that song now that I say it. I know you guys know what song I'm talking about. Um, there is uh, now, you, or excuse me, you can now uh, explore, like, kind of open world like uh, Atlantic City, and there are some quests there for you to complete. Uh, and it seems like it's not just one, there's going to be, like, many. Very excited for that. I cannot wait to try that out tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Atomic Shop was buns, uh, aside from the fact that they added new camp slots, so there you go. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, folks. If you were in a position like me where you didn't really know what was going on, but you wanted a brief little overview of it, there you go, folks. As always, uh, be sure to go check out my other video talking about the uh, Atomic Shop uh, update this week. Wasn't the best, but I, you really should go hear my reaction to the camp slots thing. I lost my mind, and I'll leave it at that, folks. So please, let me know what you think of the new season. Nothing too crazy, just mainly uh, some some story updates, which is honestly uh, kind of inverted from what we typically get. I feel like we usually get more quality of life updates as opposed to story. But, you know, there you go. Beggars can't be choosers like I always stay. And with that, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.